Yesterday, Dream murdered Tommy in it. That's right, Tommy in it is now canonically dead, just like Wilbur and Schlatt. This will affect the storyline and the lore completely. So this is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now, if you're completely confused and you have no idea what even happened, don't worry about it. I'm about to explain. But first, make sure that you're subscribed and that you follow my Twitch, which is down below. With that being said, let's get right into it. So how did this even start? Well, about a week ago, Tommy and it actually got stuck in the prison with Dream. And that happened because when he was visiting Dream for the last time, someone set off some TNT, which was a security threat, meaning awesome dude had to lock Tommy in it in the cell with Dream. And seven days later, this brings us to this day, which was when Tommy and it got murdered by Dream. So this is what happened today. Basically, Tommy and it booted up a stream and thought that he was coming out today. So he was being annoying like he always does. <laughs> And just shoving it into Dream's face that he's coming out and that Dream isn't. But very quickly, he realized that he's not going to be coming out on that day. This became very apparent to him when Awesome Dude simply didn't want to let him out. Oh, no, Tommy, you can't leave yet. I haven't found out what was causing the security issue. Sam. Even though he signed that contract, which said that he can only stay in the cell for max seven days. And because of that, he became super angry and pissed off. And he got so pissed off at one point that he killed his own cat, which in turn then pissed off Dream as the cat was one of his only companions in the cell. And Dream got very, very mad. And he also went insane on Tommy. This way, this way. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what happens when you love something, bitch. Which later resulted in him killing Tommy. Okay. Alright? Why don't you go see him? No, stop, 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 stop. But before he even did that, he said to Tommy that he's gonna get his revenge. And later in the video, I'm gonna be talking about what this revenge could be and how he could actually do it. But yeah, when the stream hit the 30 minute mark, Tommy in it was dead and the stream ended. Now at first, I thought that Dream killed Tommy by accident. And in a second, I'm gonna explain why that isn't true. But the reason why I thought at first that he killed him by accident is because if he was to do it on purpose, he would probably chuck him in the lava or something. But I didn't hear when he said this. <laughs> Okay. All right. Why don't you go see him? No, stop, 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 stop. That's right. He said, why don't you go meet him? And this came right after when they were talking about Schlatt and how Dream apparently doesn't have this revive book that he claims to have, which is also the only reason why he's still alive and is just in the prison rather than canonically dead. So yeah, I think that this was completely planned and it wasn't like an accident. Also, there's not really another way of Tommy in it like getting out of prison other than him dying, which is actually quite sad. But it would only make sense if he was to die rather than, you know, waiting another seven days and everyone in the street Dream being super confused and just not wanting to watch anymore. You know, they're not trying to kill the Dream SMP, so they wouldn't do that kind of storyline where he's just in the prison for like a month. So that's why I think that he kind of had to be killed. Now, a bit earlier in the stream, Dream actually said that he would never use the revival book on Dream or any of his friends. And this kind of, you know, got me thinking like, will Tommy Ennett actually be revived in the future? And the answer is yes. Let me explain. Tommy Ennett is the main character after all, so he kind of has to be revived, otherwise the story will just kind of be dead like think about it you're watching a film and the main character dies in the middle do you really think that he actually died or will they find his body later and he's actually alive you know what i mean i don't know if that made sense but basically what i'm trying to get at is he's gonna have to be revived for the story to be good and you know progress in a normal way even though dream said that he won't also dream will most likely either be forced or just simply asked to and he'll just kind of want to but that most likely won't happen he most likely will have to just be forced to revive tommy also so Something that kind of confused me when I was watching the stream was Tubbo's reaction to Tommy's death. And this was also another reason why I at first thought that the death was by accident because Tubbo seemed very surprised and I mean, clearly his acting's just really good. But at the time, I just thought he was like really confused and thought that maybe they like kind of messed up when they were there. Like maybe Dream didn't know that he's actually super low on health. But yeah, I think Tubbo was meant to like react in like a not really caring way, which kind of surprised me because this kind of brings in like a whole thing about is Tobo really a good friend you know what I mean in the dream SMP storyline because at this point he might as well just help dream escape 
because why not? Like, if he doesn't really care about Tommy that much, he might as well just help Dream escape, you know what I mean? Which kind of brings me on to my next question, which is, will Dream escape the prison? And in a previous video, I said 100% yes, and I'll still stand by that. I mean, think about it. He kind of has to escape the prison for the story to progress. I mean, it's kind of the same thing with, like, Tommy and it having to be revived in the future. Like, it kind of just has to happen for the story to be complete. Also, Dream said himself that he's gonna escape and that he has a plan to escape. And when like Dream says something like that in the storyline, it most likely will happen. And there's not really a reason to doubt that. So yeah, he's gonna escape. That's basically what I'm saying. But how will he escape? Well, there's obviously been one attempt already, which is the TNT, which actually could have been an attempt or just a way to keep Tommy in the prison with Dream. But I don't know, maybe it was an attempt. But he said that Techno will most likely get involved with getting him out of prison because Technoblade kind of owes him a favor apparently. So it kind of makes sense for Techno to try to help Dream. And for some reason, I feel like Technoblade actually won't be the reason why Dream escapes. Maybe he's going to be a part of it, but it's not going to be the main reason because that just kind of seems super obvious. And the one thing that I've realized about the Dream SMP and the Dream SMP storyline is that what you don't expect the most is going to happen. Like when I watched the stream yesterday, I had no idea that Tommy is going to get killed. Like no idea. And I was super shocked. So I would be quite surprised if Technoblade just kind of came in and like freed him out of the prison. You know what I mean? It just wouldn't make sense in my opinion. The other thing that I was thinking is the egg. I mean, the egg, we still don't really know much about, but we do know that it's quite evil and it can do basically whatever it wants. Now, at one point in the stream, Dream said that he is actually more powerful in the prison than Tommy outside the prison, which I think that means that he controls the egg. I'm not 100% sure i guess it's still not confirmed and it's still kind of my theory but i do think that he controls the egg canonically which would also make sense why it's bad boy halo and anfrost which are two of his very close friends that are influenced by the egg the most and then plus rambo as well the other thing i wanted to mention is that he actually asked tommy to try to escape with him which i thought was quite interesting because one how would that happen like sam wouldn't want two people in the prison cell if that other person would just help you know what i mean it just doesn't really make sense so that was basically never happen. Anyway, earlier in the video, I said that I'm going to talk about how Dream can get his revenge and stuff because Tommy killed his cat. And I have a few ideas. And the obvious one is killing Tobo. I mean, Tobo is like the only thing that Tommy really cares about on the server these days. So that would be a pretty easy target. The other thing that I thought maybe could happen is destroying the hotel. Now, I don't think that really means a lot to Tommy in it anymore because one, he's dead and also Jack owns it. So I don't know if that's really a smart idea, but I think it's still quite an important part of the storyline. So I think the hotel could be a shout. The other thing that I was thinking is maybe if Dream actually revived Tommy and got Tommy into prison and then Tommy had to stay there, that would also be very good revenge and could possibly happen. And the other thing that I was thinking about maybe killing Henry, because I actually don't know what happened to Henry. He was in the bunker where the final finale happened. And I'm still confused, like what's happened to it? And I'm pretty sure it's still there. So maybe he could kill Henry and every other of the pets in the bunker. But that's kind of just like far-fetched. So probably not. Now, all of this talk kind of got me thinking, you know, could Dream actually be in the right? Like before this video, I was actually going to make a video about is Dream the hero of the Dream SMP, which is very similar to Key and KSG's video. But I had also my own thoughts to it. And I can't really make that video anymore because he's clearly the villain. But maybe Dream was actually in the right in this situation because Tommy in it did piss off Dream a lot. I mean, it kind of makes sense why Dream killed him because if you piss off someone that hard and you know, you just keep annoying him, it kind of makes sense that at one point you're going to snap, you know what I mean? Plus, it would have ended bad anyway. Like if he was to stay there, something would have happened and that would be just as bad as Dream killing Tommy in it. Because the truth is, if Dream didn't kill Tommy in it, I feel like Tommy in it would kill Dream, which would be a completely different story. Also, he had nothing to gain and nothing to lose because because Tommy and it clearly rejected the partnership of trying to get out together. So he couldn't really gain that anymore. And he had nothing to lose. Because, I mean, Tommy in it doesn't really mean anything to him. So yeah, he had nothing to lose. But on the other hand, he was manipulating Tommy in it a lot on that stream. Like, even just saying that he wants to be partners and stuff like that is very manipulative. And it's quite clear that he was trying to do that. And one of the main ways that he manipulated him is through saying that he has this resurrection book. And that's also the reason why he's still alive and he's 
not dead because he could have been easily killed on the grand finale but Tommy Inet decided to put him into prison and keep him alive because of the revival book and Tommy Inet really questioned if that book even exists so I'm wondering does the book exist or not we kind of need an answer here to know where the storyline is going to go because if it doesn't exist Tommy Inet is dead forever but if it does exist you know everything's a bit different so for that reason actually the revival book has to exist because as I said before in the video Tommy Inet has to be revived at one point as he is the main character therefore the book has to exist now Tommy Inet's reasoning for why he didn't believe that dream has the book is that he hasn't used it yet and to be honest why would he I mean on who like Wilbur doesn't really mean much to dream same with Schlatt so why would he use it you know what I mean but now that Tommy is dead maybe it's a bit different even though dream doesn't like Tommy or anything but maybe if Technoblade died or something and if he revived Techno everyone else would be revived then he would kind of have to revive him so what will happen next now that Tommy is dead and dream is still in the prison what will happen next well it's quite clear that dream will escape the prison and I think that's going to be because of the syndicate which is Technoblade's group and now I'm going to just guess a bit but it's still quite probable so I'm still going to say it but I think that dream will go to foolish's base when he escapes and this is mainly because it's far away meaning if the people on the dream SMP are trying to find dream they most likely won't check foolish G's massive Egyptian base also foolish G is a totem of undying so maybe he will have something to do with the storyline when it comes to reviving people which I think then will lead to everyone who's dead being revived and then because of that Tommy and it will stop dream and most likely put him into prison so yeah that's my theories on what's gonna happen if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also check out this video on screen right now it's quite interesting and you'll most likely like it but yeah with that being said goodbye guys